in the dirt. Gil's been asking if you can come by. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow, that's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder, becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Auntie Pathfinder. So let me get this straight. The Angara were created, like, in a lab by another species. A species way beyond our understanding. It seems likely they built everything in Helios for the Angara, then. Maybe their intentions were good, unlike the Ket. Not many things break my brain, but I got pieces all over the place thanks to this. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City, Meridian? I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I hope you're planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines, Pathfinder Pathfinds Victory laid low by Turian Brew. Not a party unless I'm passed out at the end. From your stomach literally exploding? Why don't I find something better suited to humans? Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate soon. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Hello, Ryder. I have been contemplating our discoveries about the Angara at the Remnant City. I know who created me, and I know my purpose. I have also experienced not knowing. The difference is immense. You're heading into some deep waters there, Sam. Whole lifetimes are spent asking about creation. Its meaning, if it has one, and if there was a motivating force. Are you asking if there's a god? AI have concrete answers about why they exist. If I did not, I would look for them. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. Uh... How are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? Far too many to sift through at once. It's mostly for the Angara to figure out. I can't imagine what this will mean to them. Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. Alright, folks. We can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. Fry their sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in, and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Baron's Jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait! Lesson! Rattles. Rattles. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Oh, yes. Please. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. Feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. Uh, do you even have a gallbladder? Oh no! It's worse than I thought. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. No! Damn you! Damn you all! Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you. A thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. 
No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. at a Scourge nav point appropriate for data collection. Receiving Scourge readings. Scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. Data collection probe ready for placement. This is quite the lawless region. No place to get stranded. Stranded? Why would you even bring that up?
Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Anomaly found.